Hi guys. Um. Oops, what's going on? There we go. Um. I just got back from spring break, so um. I'm gonna make a video. Um. I have to re. I just realized I had wireless, and so a lot of my videos didn't work. And I made a video for Gender Blenders on Wednesday. This is my second video, and it was a really good one, and it didn't convert correctly, so I look like a tool bag. Forgetting my or not forgetting, but looking like I forgot my second video. Um, so I'm gonna have to do that one right. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do tell what happened over my spring break and do it as quickly as I can, because otherwise I'll be talking all day. Um, hmm. So, my brother, the first thing he said to me, he runs up to me when I get off the bus. I'm not even off the bus yet. And he runs up to me and he's like, um, where's your beard? And I was like, I shaved it off. It was only one hair. I couldn't just keep one hair. And he was like, oh. I wanted, to, I wanted to see your beard. And then uh, the next day was um, my birthday party. It was the first time I'd seen my whole family since I started tea, so it was really stressful. But um, for the most part, everybody... Um, well, I didn't tell... There's only one person at my party that I didn't tell yet. And it's my grandmother, it's my stepfather's mom, and she's very religious, and not, I mean, she's preachy, but not in, like, a, a awful, horrible, preachy way, like, she just, you know, she's always, like, God bless you, and, like, like, giving you godly things, and trying to make you feel godly, or something, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know, so it, I just don't know how to say it, like, she still doesn't get that I like girls, and, like, everybody knows, like, I don't get it. Like, I don't know how she doesn't know. Like, for example, when I was saying that I was rooming with a guy last year, um, my roommate was a guy, she was all like, oh, that's not, I was like, really? Like, you, really? Oh, I don't know. Um, so I haven't told her yet, uh, and she didn't get it somehow, but everybody else obviously knew, and, um, some relatives were really, really good about it. They were trying really hard to call me Max and everything. Um, but, um, some... I'm gonna move. Some had a harder time with it. Um, uh, at my party, nobody made a big deal except for my one aunt um, kept saying my birth name more often than, than, like, was necessary. Like, she would say it at, during, in every sentence, and she wrote out my card, my birthday card, like, twice, and that was just weird, like, I don't know. But she didn't make, she didn't, like, come out and say anything about it. And a bunch of my other relatives that were really good about everything. And, um, so I couldn't, like, I, I guess it was kind of, it was really stressful, but it was, and some of them, like, wanted to talk about it, but didn't really know what to say and stuff. So, um, it was awkward, but it was good feeling at the same time, because in the end, people were really supportive and everything. Um, oh, and at one point my brother, my little cousin, who's, like, five, he saw my, one of my cards that said Max on it, and he was like, why does it say, why does it say Max? And Cody was like, because her's a boy now, didn't you know? And then he was trying to tell everybody, and I was like, shh, no. Like, everybody knows it's already, it's awkward, everybody doesn't know whether they should bring it up or not, and I was like, mm. but, um. And then I went to court, um, uh, because I had a speeding ticket that I had to take care of, which sucked. Um, and, uh, the judge kept calling me he, and I don't know if he didn't see my name, like, he didn't care, like, didn't read my name carefully or what, but he kept calling me he, and my mom, 
I'm so proud of my mom. She's doing like a really good job about everything, but she was like, um, she still has a hard time using the right name and pronouns. Like she's trying, she just keeps slipping up. But um, and the judge was calling me he, and then he, and then when we were paying. I didn't have cash on me, so she was paying, and I was, you know, I was writing her a check, and so, um, she was paying, and, and he meant, he said something to her, and she was talking about me, but every time she would, like, come to a pronoun, she would kind of, like, mumble, like, like, um, I don't remember what he, what she was saying, but she was like, well, he was going to college, so he's not going to drive until May, so, you know. It was just really funny. You know how they do that. They, like, kind of try to avoid pronouns. But sometimes, I don't know. But, um... So it was cool. And then I went to open mic. And my grandma, who, um... The one that I made cry. <laughs> she's doing a lot, lot, lot better about it. Um, like, she wasn't ever doing bad, like... She wasn't ever, like, bad to me about it, but I could tell she was having a hard time with her personally, which is what bothered me, but she's, she told everybody at open mic before I went, which they're all old people, not old, but older people, middle-aged to old. Some of them are seniors, some of them are middle-aged, but, um, they all called me Max and everything, and one guy came up to me and he says, you look like the guy from Leave it to Beaver, and I was like, thanks? I look like the beeve. No one's ever told me that, but that was weird. So, like, half the people open mic knew because they'd met me before, so they knew I was trans, and the other half just thought I was a guy, I think. I'm not really sure. I didn't ask them. But I think I'm passing a lot more now. But I don't even know because I'm still having a problem where I don't know what I look like, so it's really weird. Anyway, so this was all good until one of the last days. Um, I was going to go visit my aunt and my cousins, and my aunt really got difficult about... She's the one who doesn't want me to tell my cousins that I'm trans, and I mean, it's really obvious at this point. Like, my stash, I really need to shave it. It's, like, you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can. Yeah, you definitely can. It looks like this prepubescent, and I'm getting it under here. You really can't see this, but I can see it. I'm getting it, all the stuff here. But right here, particularly, it's really dark. I don't know. And it looks like some, like, 15-year-old is first getting his first facial hair, and is like, yeah, I don't want to shave it, which is kind of the truth. I think I can see it from here, and I can't tell. If in the mirror, if I'm standing this far away in the mirror, I can see it, and I'm like, it needs to go. It does. It needs to be shaved. But I can, it feels, so. anyway. <laughs> but, um, so, she doesn't want her kids to know. So she didn't really want me to come over to visit. And it was really difficult. At the time, it was really, it was basically her saying she didn't want me around her kids, because she didn't want them to know. I ended up going over. We just didn't talk about it. And it was really awkward and uncomfortable. But, um, I was able to see the kids, which is good because I love those kids. And I don't want to not be able to see them just because my aunt has issues with it. Because my aunt who has the problems with it. Not, I mean, my one cousin's two, and the other one's like eight. So, you know. That was really. I have a lot more to say about all those events, but. It, I'm at nine minutes, and I just skimmed over everything. I feel like my face is fat. <sighs> my face is getting fatter. Like, it, it's weird to smile. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I look like. Do I look... I don't know. What do guys look like? I feel like Fonz. Hey, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'm going to try to make an another video for Gender Blenders, because apparently mine didn't work, and uh, I'm going to make more videos about my week in more detail. Um, so anyway, I'll talk to you later, guys. See ya.